Hi. Uh, I wanted to enter some uh, longitude, latitude uh, waypoints into uh, the X plane Garmin um, 530. And I thought I had nothing more to do than bring up the interface and basically enter the, the latitude and longitude in the position box. But it seems that in X plane that function is not supported. Uh, it is in the real uh, Garmin 530, but not in X plane. You just can't do it. You can't enter uh, latitude and longitude waypoints. Um, so I started to investigate as to how I would achieve this. And this video uh, will show you how to enter your own latitude longitude waypoints in the X plane Garmin 530. Uh, there's probably not a lot of demand for that, but uh, every now and again, I suppose somebody might have a reason for it. Uh, my particular use is uh, in um, intending to document uh, the West Highland Way, which is a, a walk in Scotland. Uh, for about 96 miles, uh, going from the lowlands just outside Glasgow, uh, a place called uh, Mulgai, uh, uh, up through, uh, up into the Highlands, uh, and finalising in Fort William. Um, I'm using Ortho, uh, Oscar Pilotti's uh, Ortho uh, for XP uh, scenery. Uh, and uh, I don't use, I'm trying to avoid using Autogen scenery. Uh, so, as you'll see uh, here, uh, the actual way itself uh, is very difficult to see. It's a very, very narrow, you know, it's very, very narrow lanes where, where you know, where people are walking. So I'm, I'm planning to fly over the top of this and uh, just document the, the way in some of the interesting points. Uh, so I wanted to have waypoints in the Garmin 530 uh, just to keep me on track for finding the way. Uh, as I've done this walk myself, <laughs> I know where everything is, but uh, when we're flying along about uh, 60 to 100 miles an hour, that'd be handy just having it in the, in the Garmin. Um, so essentially that's the, the way and that's all the points that I'm intending to enter into the Garmin. Um, and how we do that is I'm using a, uh, a user fix dat file uh, which uh, lives in the uh, custom data folder in Xplane. And uh, how you achieve uh, transitioning the latitude and longitude from uh, you know into the uh, into the, the 530 is by entering the latitude and longitude into the user fix, user underscore fix dot dat file uh, and putting that file into the custom data folder. Uh, so I've entered all of the, the waypoints, Mulgai, uh, so that's the, the latitude longitude coordinates here. And then I've given it an ID, which is just my own ID, uh, M-I-L-G-Y for Mulgai, um, even though it's spelled Malingavi. <laughs> um, and uh, you also have to mark it uh, E-N-R-T for uh, an en route uh, waypoint and uh, also designate it as ZZ, uh, which means it's not a, it's not a real world uh, airport or, or aviation point. Um, so for each waypoint that you intend to you intend to enter, and you can the, the, the actual unit itself will hold a thousand waypoints. Uh, <coughs> you just uh, create your name, put it in route, add ZZ, and uh, accurately uh, put in your latitude and longitude uh, coordinates. Uh, <coughs> Um, so to do that, we then just use the input uh, as we normally would. I've already uh, gone through the MILGY uh, 
uh, and then when you get to the Y it brings up the ZZ and the navigation and of course we just simply enter that and accept it and we now have that on board. So uh, to enter the next one um, we just uh, and And the next one we're looking for is VOLCA. VOLCA. So, uh, <coughs> V, oops, not the fastest, oops. <laughs> v. <coughs> and enter. Okay, I've uh, now completed the entering the the waypoint IDs, uh, which has given me the the waypoints in the X-plane uh, Garmin 530, uh, and we can now see the the latitude and longitude displayed on the screen. Um, if I just pop out to... Oh, oh so there we have uh, 150 nautical miles and uh, we're sitting in Glasgow Airport at the moment. Uh, a short flight over to uh, Mulgai uh, and uh, that's that, that'll be the start of the West Island Way for 96 miles, and it steps me through uh, the various waypoints on on the way up through. Uh, and uh, <coughs> I hope that's explained how to get longitude and latitude uh, waypoints into the Garmin, uh, essentially using. Uh, uh, user underscore fix dot data file. I'll post the, the details of this file uh, into the uh, YouTube description uh, and uh, it means you should just be able to copy and paste. It's a simple ASCII file. Okay, thank you. <coughs>